All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install Robart pinned hinges uh, the way I do it. Let's get some petroleum jelly and some apparatus to uh, to get some numminess out of there. Stick it into a can, any old can. So now that I got some on there, Gonna get a culinary torch, propane torch, whatever you got. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and heat this up until it melts. All right. So now that that is melted, we're gonna get the hinge. We're going to bend it 90 degrees and dip it in. That. And we will flip it around. Do it again. Okay. Then I'll set it aside and do the other two. But it gets inside all the little cracks. That your epoxy can't sneak in there. The beauty of this is it will solidify and it won't run everywhere like oil does. All right, so we got those drying. Little cans at our side. And I like the Zap product uh, 30 minute epoxy for doing hinges. Got a little mixing cup here. Let's get some equal amounts in there. These little uh, stir sticks, I actually get them from a rod building company. It's called uh, Get Bit Outdoors or uh, Mud Hole. They both sell them. It's actually got this little cup from too. Like kind of frothed up a bit, almost kind of white. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just let that sit. I'm just gonna think about what it what just happened. And while we're waiting for that, we are going to get our rudder ready. So you notice I've burned out these holes with the soldering iron. That seals the covering around the hole. Um, it's a really good tip I learned from somebody else. Um, it's a nice clean hole and it, it bonds that, see, that uh, covering to the wood. So it's never going to unravel and come undone. I'm going to very delicately put a little bit of epoxy in there. All three of them. See, that's what I like about these things. You can just really get that epoxy in there and it doesn't get all over the place. All right, let's set that down. Now I'm gonna to go to this side. So now, got epoxy in all the holes. Got these guys, They've, it's solidified. So it's not running anywhere like it was when it was hot. It's perfect. And uh, usually what I like to do is get a little bit of sandpaper and, uh, you know, just kind of brush the sides a little bit. Looks like I got a little bit here. Don't really have to do this because I got these nice barbs on there. Robart hinges are a good product. rough surface area it has, the better bond you're going to get. All right, little tiny rub on here, wipe it off. 
Don't want much in there at all. Just enough to let you know there's some there. Kind of just like pre pre covers this. Get too much, I'll just make a big mess. Okay, so I got this one on there. I'm going to make sure that pin's pointed down. It's just an aviation geek thing, so something I always like to do. Right, so that's in place. This one again. in. Notice nothing squeezed out on me there. It all uh, was evenly coated. Same thing here. See, I'm kind of like squeegeeing it off a little bit. a favor and pre-align all these so that they're all pointed perfectly straight and fun part I'm going to align all these up so we're done. like that Pushing this together. Okay, so now you'll see there's like a little bit of excess. Most of that's petroleum jelly, but for the most part, it's all in there. Okay, I'll move this back and forth, kind of free it up a bit. Get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Cut up a bunch of rags earlier, so this is what I like to do. Get that, dump it on there, saturate those puppies. All right, I got some saturated towels now. Perfect little wiper right there. All right, so now I'm going to go in and wipe this clean. Fold. Wipe, fold, wipe, and I'll do it again. The more nice thing about these paper towel tricks, you can uh, just kind of squeeze it in the gap if you have one. And then it'll just kind of wipe off. I'm just trying to get all my mess out of there so there's no visible epoxy in there. Okay, I'm gonna push this together. Okay, I'm gonna now work the hinge back and forth. While pushing them together. This kind of helps get those pins aligned and centered along the hinge line while you're pushing it. Otherwise, they'll try to pull apart on you a little bit. Okay, so now I got free movement. I mean, it feels great. Little gap in there. It's not the end of the world. I'm actually going to push this together. I'm going to tape this. 
on the center like that. So now this is centered. I'm going to put a piece of tape across here. So that way it's not going to want to pull apart. Same thing up here. Now, I'm just going to do some final alignment with the rudder and the vertical stab just to make sure everything's true and flush and mainly that um, you know, not one's a little bit higher here on, on this side, like this, this is flush. Um, but for the most part, um, that's it. Let that cure. Make sure when that is done curing, you can then take your tape off and wiggle it back and forth and free it up, but that is it.